Morning Harmony Hill, it's Mrs. Free here. Today I'm going to read to you another one of my son's favorite stories. It's called The Scrambled States of America. And it is written by Lori Keller. I hope you enjoy. Hi there, I'm Sam. I'm assuming since you opened this book that you're in the mood to hear a story. Well, you're in luck because I have a story for you. It's a little story about this fine country of ours. I'll bet you thought you'd heard them all, but not many people know this one. Let me tell it. Oh, oh, let me, let me. Ohio and Colorado are fighting. No, no, you two. That part is my job. Now get back in your places. We're about to start the story. Let's give them a couple seconds to get back into position. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Okay, turn the page. Well, it's just your basic, ordinary day in the good old U.S. of A. States all over the country were waking up, having their first cups of coffee, reading the morning paper, and enjoying the beautiful sunrise. All the states, that is, except for Kansas. He was not feeling happy at all. How do I know this? Because he said, I'm not feeling happy at all. What's wrong? His best friend, Nebraska, kindly asked him. Nebraska is a very kind state. I don't know, moaned Kansas. I just feel bored. All day long, we just sit here in the middle of the country. We never go anywhere. We never do anything. We never meet any new states. Hmm, said Nebraska. Don't get me wrong, Nebraska. You're the best friend a state could have. But don't you ever want more? Don't you ever want to see what else is out there? Yes. Yes, I do, Nebraska said excitedly. And now that you mention it, I'm sick and tired of hearing North Dakota and South Dakota bicker all the time. I have a great idea, exclaimed Kansas. Let's have a party and invite all the other states. You know, one of those big get-to-know-you deals. Everyone can bring a favorite dish. We could have music and dancing. That's a great idea, shrieked Nebraska. I wish I thought of it myself. So with a little help from their neighbors, Missouri and Iowa, those wacky little Midwestern states, planned the biggest party ever. They sent out invitations and blew up balloons. They even hired a band to play. What type of music do you play? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. I love accordions. At last, the big day came, and little by little, the seats arrived at the party. Nebraska and Kansas were on the welcoming committee. Iowa was in charge of coats, and Missouri and Illinois passed out name tags for each state to wear. Within minutes after their arrival, the states began making friends with each other. They spent hours talking, laughing, dancing, and singing. It was long into the evening when Idaho and Virginia got up on the stage. Excuse me, Idaho said politely. Idaho is a very polite state. Sorry to interrupt, but Virginia and I were just talking, and we thought it might be fun if she and I switched places. You know, so we could see a new part of the country. Yes, Virginia chimed in. Then we thought maybe all of you might want to try it too. What do you think? A wave of excitement swept through the room. They could hardly wait. Immediately, the states made their plans to switch places. They said their goodbyes and went directly home to pack. What's going to happen to the USA when every state switches place? It took the better part of the next morning for the states to move to their new spots, but finally they were settled in. All of the states were much happier now that they were with their new neighbors and in a new part of the country. Oh yes, this was a much better arrangement. Doesn't look like the United States to me anymore. But after a couple of days had passed, all the excitement had died down. The states began to realize that they weren't as happy as they thought. Florida, who had switched spots with Minnesota, was freezing in the frosty northern climate. And Minnesota, who forgot to buy sunscreen, got an awful sunburn. Alabama, New York, and Indiana, all of whom took California's place, were bothered by an annoying rumbling sound that kept them up all night. 
Arizona, who had traded places with South Carolina, was upset because the ocean waves kept ruining her hairdo. Alaska, who had been wanting a little more interaction with the other states, was irritated by Oklahoma's handle jabbing into his left side and Michigan's thumb tickling his right. And worst of all, Kansas, who had switched places with Hawaii because he was sick of being stuck in the middle of the country, was now stuck in the middle of nowhere, feeling lonesome and seasick. In the middle of nowhere, feeling lonesome and seasick, my guitar is soggy and I feel so blue. Singing a little song in the ocean. And Hawaii was longing for some peace and quiet, like in the good old days. Well, there was no question in any state's mind about what to do. Everyone wanted to go home. So even faster than they made the first trip, they packed up their things and they hit the road. As the sun set across the country, all of the states, from A to W, were back in their very own homes. The states were so happy to see their old friends again, they spent the entire evening sharing their new experiences with each other, the good and the bad. That night, all the states in the country went to bed feeling happy about the new friends they had made, but most of all, feeling very thankful to be home. There's all 50 of your states back where they belong. I hope you enjoyed the story. Have a great Harmony Hill day.